Best of R slash Entitled Parents Episode 191. Subscribe for Reddit videos daily. Entitled mother and son would like to trade expensive lightsaber replica for a much cheaper one. This happened about a year or so ago in California's Disneyland. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge to be specific. It was basically my GK dream to go there and get a Savis Workshop lightsaber for my 14th birthday. I was eating at one of the quick bite restaurants there, it had only burritos, and it was an open area with a moving statue in the middle. EM, looked to be in her 40s. K, about my age, maybe one year younger. Me, mom, dad, K, yo, cool lightsaber, check this one out. He shows me his lightsaber that he must have bought somewhere else. It was the plastic kind, not one from Savvy's. But I'll admit it was still authentic and double bladed, so I really loved it. We talked for a while. Seemed he was a hardcore Star Wars fan as well. EM comes over, hey EK, come on the order is ready. Would you mind us sitting at the unoccupied half of the table? Dad, sure go ahead. I won't bore you, but a conversation ensues between our two groups. They seem like really nice people, and eventually ask where we got the saber. We tell them and eventually they finish their food and presumably head over to Savvy's. In a matter of time they return. EM. Well no kidding ha. Huh? Those things are expensive. Mom and dad. Yeah for sure. But it's his birthday so we made an exception. K. Well I saw you liked my saber so I was wondering if we could trade. Honestly I really considered it at first. It was cool and all. But I noticed the price difference and the value of the lightsaber to me. Me. No thanks. But I think they have some good replicas at the shop adjacent to Savvy's if you want some. We get up to leave and the EM starts insisting and practically shoving the thing in my face. Without wasting too much time, eventually the trail is to the other end of the park, and the start of the line for the Millennium Falcon ride. So a cast member gets involved and the EM starts bringing up excuses and asking to see the rules of the park. She insists on trading. But the cast member draws her away and I enjoy the rest of the day. Edit. Star Wars is now Star Wars. Edit 2. EK is now just K. He wasn't really entitled or anything. And he did back off after asking once. The EM was the one that kept persisting. Thought the kid didn't do anything to stop her. He also didn't push farther. He was also embarrassed when his mother started arguing with the cast member. Thank you. Next. EM thinks that I worship Satan. Long time lurker. First time poster. This happened a few days ago while I was grocery shopping. I was looking over what coffee was available and that's when I heard someone yell Satanist. At that moment I started looking around wondering WTF was going on. Next thing I know a Karen is up in my business. Karen, you disgusting heathen. How dare you wear that. While pointing and my shirt. That's when I realized she was referring to my Slayer shirt. Me. Excuse me? Karen. Don't play stupid. That is the mark of the devil on your shirt. Me. I'm okay. I going to leave no. Before I could leave though Karen grabs my cart and says I must pray for you and save your soul. Then she sticks out her arm and starts mumbling say gibberish. A few seconds later I rip a huge fart. Me. OMG. You saved me. I feel much better. Thank you. Karen, you disrespectful brat. How dare you treat your elders like that. Me, bitch respect these nuts. Then I throw up the devil horns and yell out hail Satan. While trying to hide a shit eating grin. Karen must have been dumbfounded. She didn't move or say anything. So I took the opportunity and headed to the checkout. I didn't see her again. I wonder if she ever left the store. I hope you all liked my story. Have a fun holiday. Thank you. Next. Karen thinks COVID isn't real. Get sneezed on. This honestly probably belongs on r slash pity revenge. But it was pretty entitled so I'm putting it here. For some context. I'm currently en route to Oak Island for my grandparents 50th anniversary. And my family stopped at a rest stop along the way. We ordered some food. And as we were leaving. I noticed a mom with her two kids screaming about how COVID-19 isn't real and how she doesn't need a mask to enter the store. As she kept ranting, my family kind of snuck past her to the exit. When I was right next to her, I did an obnoxious fake sneeze into my elbow and watched her face go white. She grabbed her kids and hightailed it out of there. 
that was pretty much the only worthwhile thing I've done during quarantine, and the employee standing outside gave me a thumbs up as I left. The guy looked really tired, so sir time please make life easier and cooperate with these people. They work long hours and deserve better than they have been getting. Thanks for reading. Thank you. Next. Mom makes her kid babysit for 15 hours a day. I have a friend who babysits this apparently super annoying child who likes to make everything super difficult to handle. E. G. One time I was talking to her and she sent me a video and then this kid just started trying to drink conditioner. I think it was conditioner. So basically her mom makes her take care of this child every day from like 8.30am to 11pm. This work isn't paid by the way. This kid isn't even related to the family and by what I've heard is that the mom works and the stepdad is busy most days so they send the kid over to my friend's house. They don't pay her mom or my friend which I find kinda insane for them and her mom to expect my friend to take care of some random kid for 465 hours a month. My friend is 15 BTW. Edit. Another kid is being sent over. WTF. Thank you. Next. Entitled mother wants free food because it's Halloween. Several years ago I worked as the manager in a coffee shop inside a hospital. I've written about it before in another subreddit. Since the size of the shop slash our usual customer base is fairly small, there was usually only one person working, although there were exceptions to that rule. The benefit of this is that the owner let us basically run the store however we wanted during our shifts. The consequence is that we have no support when problems arise. Problems like entitled parents. Not a lot of major players in this story, so the only acronym I'll be using is EM for the entitled mother herself. Since I was the manager, I often volunteered for undesirable shifts, especially holidays. I took the closing shift on Halloween so that my co-workers, who were mostly younger than me, could have fun. The hospital was hosting a Halloween trick or treat event for patients and families. Our boss told us that we could pass out candy if we wanted to, but we'd have to supply it ourselves. So we did. Since I was closing I saw the most trick or treaters, which was great. I love kids. Plus it's nice to be nice to people that are stressed while their loved ones are in the hospital. Towards the end of the night a group of kids, a patient's daughter and her friends, all guided by her mom, stopped by. As I held out the bowl of candy. The mom informed me that her daughter had celiacs, none of the candy left was gluten free, and asked if her daughter could have a bag of potato chips instead. Since my boss gave the baristas control over who got discounts and freebies, I was happy to oblige. Better safe than sorry, although I suppose the hospital would be the best place to be if you ingest something you shouldn't lol. The girl picks her chips, everyone thanks me, and they move along. Almost immediately her woman, EM. Pops up in front of the register. I greet her and offer to take her order. EM. I saw you giving out a free bag of chips to that kid. Can I have one? Me. No mom. She got those instead of Halloween candy. I'd be happy to give you some of the candy though. There's some left. And I don't think we'll have many more trick or treaters at this hour. EM. But I don't want candy. I want potato chips. Oh 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 oh. Or maybe a protein bar. Do you have the cookies and cream flavor? She then proceeds to make a mess of my display basket of protein bars looking for this flavor. A couple nurses I recognize step behind her, forming a line. Me. Mom I can't give you free food. You'll have to buy it. EM. But I don't want to. It's Halloween. You're giving free stuff away anyways. Me. I'm afraid I can't do that mom. Please either place an order or step aside so I can serve the customers waiting behind you. EM scoffs and takes a step back in offense. One of the nurses uses the opening to sidestep in front of her and place her order. EM starts making a fuss. It's been years and I can't remember her exact words. But I'm sure we've all heard similar stuff from other entitled people. I try for a moment to calm her down before giving up on a lost cause and just handling the nurse's orders. There is only one barista working, after all. The nurses very valiantly started loudly talking with each other and with me so I couldn't hear EM's complaints and would have a reason to talk to them instead of responding to her. After a few minutes, a man and young girl step out of the elevators across from the coffee shop. The man sees EM and turns beet red. Hello unentitled husband and daughter. He sits their daughter at one of our tables and walks over to EM. 
He gently takes her by the wrist and ushers her to the side, away from both the shop and the seating area. By now the nurses leave, and I can kind of hear the whisper argument that EM and her husband are having, but I can't really make it out. However, I'm sure this wasn't the first time she'd behaved this way and that it was a point of contention between them. Eventually she huffs again and goes to sit with their daughter. The husband comes to the register and orders their drinks and some sandwiches. No chips or protein bars lol. He glances over his shoulder to see if EM is looking, and slips a $20 bill into my tip jar. I offer him candy, which he brings to his daughter while I make their drinks. TL. Dr. EM wants free food because it's Halloween. Her husband escalates the situation and tips me generously for my troubles. Edit. Fixed some grammatical issues and rephrased a few things. Thank you. Next. Mum can't wait in line for her food. The details are a bit shaky as this happened when I was 11 yo. Me and my parents were at a hotel which had an open buffet for breakfast. There was an area where you could tell a chef what type of eggs you want and what toppings. There were only 4 people in line. An elderly woman at the front, the mom and her child in the middle, and me at the end. The chef was making the elderly woman's eggs when the mom says, My son wants egg type. The chef said, Wait mom I'm busy. The mom scoffs. When the chef finishes the egg the mom goes. Can you listen to me now my son is really hungry and faces her child he acted as if you didn't exist right. The son. Yai right. Mom in a sarcastic tone. You don't exist. Right. Son yeah. The chef was asked her how she would like her egg. Mom. He will have to scramble eggs. The chef then cracks two eggs in. Mom. That is too much for my son. Throw the egg away. Chef, you asked for two eggs. Mom, but that is too much for my son. Chef, that would be a waste of eggs. Mom, just throw it. The chef throw the egg in the bin and makes her a new one. She then took the egg and went looking annoyed. I then told the chef what I want and smiled at him while he was making it and said thanks at the end. Thank you. Next. My entitled mom keeps asking why I won't dye her hair. Back in the day like 10-12 years ago I used to dye my mom's hair for her after she went all grey, but I got tired of doing it because she was very whiny and demanding about it. I had slash have kids and work full time, so I didn't always have the time or energy, and she would whine that she wanted me to do hers, but finally I refused to do it anymore. Occasionally I would dye my own hair and she asked why I will dye my own hair, but not hers, mind you, she never did mine. This annoys me a, because of the entitlement, and b, because I learned a long time ago, from her parenting, if I wanted something that I had to do it myself, so why am I obligated to do hers? Well after a while I got tired of maintaining my own hair color, so I've just been sticking with my normal hair color. Well this year, since my 12 years old's birthday like so many this year was in quarantine I decided to get her a bunch of manic panic and dye her hair different colors. Well her last color is starting to fade, so I was telling her to extra shampoo so we can do the next color, cotton candy pink, or hot hot pink, and my mom asked again when I was going to dye hers. Me I'm not, but why? So I told her again, it's because she harasses me about doing it all the time. When I do my daughter's hair, she might ask if I would do it soon, but she's usually pretty chill and will wait patiently until I feel like doing it. This is just one of many things she expects me to do for her instead of doing it for herself.